Okay, morning everybody. Today I've got to, uh, do you remember the last set I did? I've got to take them down. I got some lifting on this one. I've already started removal to make this quicker. Um, and because we had to go out babysitting last night and I didn't want to catch that on something. So I took that down and ended up getting a bit carried away. So that's how I've left them overnight. Um, so I thought what I'll do this morning is uh, I'll show you, I've got, I have a divot in my nail there and I always get, uh, as I'm filing away, I always end up pulling that back off that divot, so I've got to get rid of that, but I'm not going to like chase that white line down my nail because you can just keep going and going and going. Um, and I could, because I'm doing different colours or if you're doing darker colours or similar colours, I could go straight over the top of that because I've thinned them down enough. Uh, to do like a full rebalance of shape on them. Um, apart from that, take a little bit more of that. But what I don't like is when I've put colour on my nails and then they're a different colour underneath. So I've got to take them down to the clear. Uh, but I want to try and keep this build that I did with the clear last time. Uh, the only thing is this one, um, it's chipped away there. So I think I'm just going to take that straight across and build another. Uh, and it didn't feel like it were lifting, but as I've started filing around there, that's come off. So I'm going to take this one off completely. Uh, and then the others, oh, that one broke anyway. I bashed it on something. So I'd ended up taking that down you know, a couple of days ago, actually. And uh, I'm going to take all the green and pink. I'm not so bothered about the pink so much, but definitely take all the green down off the ends uh, and do the cuticle work and then today I've decided I'm going to use these which are the um, Saviland, I think it's the neon set I can't remember but there'll be a link below somewhere and you get a corresponding glitter to the colour I did show this in swatches but I've not actually done uh, nails on myself with these yet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all five, five colours and work my way down so I've got thumb, forefinger, middle finger, ring finger and little finger. Yeah. Whether I put anything else on the top of that or not, I don't know. But I'm going to do glitter fade basically uh, and then full colour on the top there. So I'll get on with this prep. Right, I've got my fan ready and uh, I put a bit of that on the top so it'll suck through it's really really fine thin in fact I could split that into two uh, possibly because I still want the air to pull through it will it split So that'll catch the dust and it'll stop my um, filter clogging up so I can get rid of that and then put the other piece on. Uh, when I put that on it'll suck that down. Uh, I've moved on to this bit because I'm near. Um, I can't actually stand the way it feels against my nail when I use, when I use this. Perhaps somebody can tell me these are just a fine or medium. Um, am I not doing the e-file uh, fast enough or high enough or or what? I don't know, but I can't stand the feel of it against my nail. It's like a... <laughs> sets my teeth on edge. Um, so I've gone from using this stronger bit um, to this one, which is rounded at the top. So I can just get a little bit more of this off so yeah I did try with the Dremel on that but I do like it anyway uh, sorry about the squishing dishwasher noise and I'm going to do uh, a bit of a bit of light lift music for you now while I get my fan on
So, fold the top better and put another one on. Uh, I've done the um, oh, it's kind of little holes in that. Ah, I see. Better than nothing, though. Uh, I've managed to take all the colour off this hand. And I'm probably better with me file against this hand because on this one I've ended up. Uh, I went too thin at one side and lost the shape completely on that one, so I've taken that one off. So I'm going to reuse a hand file uh, and take that down a bit more. And then I'm going to put a new tip on that one and that one. Uh, and these are okay, they've all been reshaped because before I start putting any more acrylic on, I wanted to take the width down a bit. Um, if you remember when I first did them, I did them fairly straight, so I brought them in a bit, so I should just finalise that a little bit uh, and change the shape a bit more when I've got some more acrylic on, but for the moment, yeah, I wanted them narrower uh, and I've taken some off the length. Yeah, so now I'm gonna, just going to change my, uh, my bit. And I use a needle file, um, a diamond bit, to go around my cuticle. So I've got the e-file on forward um, so that I can go this way and draw it towards me. And if I wanted to go around there, I'd change it to reverse, but I tend to go like this. With it, and then when I do this hand, I have to do it like that or change it in reverse so it's easier to do it that way. So, just do this one. I've only got it on about uh, what's that on? About five, about five thousand. So I'll get into that corner. It looks like it's going to do some damage. Well, it would if you pushed it in, but I'm kind of drawing it towards me. I don't like to push my cuticles back. I've got two nails, this thumb and one of my other fingers that hurts when I push back. Um, and I don't think it's necessary. You can, I don't like it. You can jump with it and everything, but this, it, it because it's in the right rotation, it pushes them back a little bit anyway. Uh, and gets rid of the dead skin all in one. You see that's going back. Or oh, non-living tissue, as everybody says. So this gets right down that sidewall. If you've got quite a high sidewall, I haven't mine a really flat look. And also I can use this just to get off any last little bits of uh, that little tiny white line that, that's lifted. So that's that. Right there. You can go on forever, keep chasing that up the thing, but I'm just going to go towards me with it. And that's, that's as good as that's going to get. Right here. It's pushing it back at the same time. I think on this nail that I uh, got lifted on, I can't remember whether I bashed it or not, but I think possibly I forgot to put primer on. Oh, possibly I forgot to put primer on. And uh, that might be why it lifted. Because uh, the others weren't bad at all. Uh, and absolutely no lifting on some of them. So that is how I like to do that. So I'll just go across the rest of them. Uh, and then I'll change to this bit to go around that proximal fold, so I'll show you that when I've done the rest of the cuticles. So I'll just change this out now and go for this one. 
it's on about 7,000. I'll do it towards it. I haven't got the proper proximal fold bit, but I reckon it's probably the same as this, just different. It's the kind of flatter on the end or ball shaped, but that'll do a job. that one because I decided to take a bit more off the side not remembering that it was that thin with clear that obviously it broke off so it's a bit more work to do on that now anyway right sticking these tips on uh, I'm using wild brow stiletto because I'm to quite narrow I'm just going to show you this finger because I've got arthritis in this finger, so it bends to the right. So if I put it in line with the finger, it will go over there. So I've got to try and straighten up with them. So. So I'm trying to straighten it with my finger, uh, at the top of my finger, near my knuckle, rather than the end of my finger that goes a bit weird. And, uh then when I've got all my fingers straight like that, it doesn't look too bad. Otherwise, it looks like I'm pointing in a different direction. So that's how I ignore that chunk there look. And make it look a bit straighter. So, yeah, that's just like arthritis novel. Noble, as we call it. Uh, right, last one. I can pick it up. I clip them quite short, but at least I've got this shape starting. It's a bit much. Dab it. Um, same again with this one, straight. That's it. There we go. My little oven dish, it's a uh, chicken, it's a crystal chicken egg cook. <laughs> Nails clear, nails primer and nail prep. Uh, I'm just going to do these nails for a minute. I'm doing the uh, clear bit on. So I've just put that extra bit of um, clear on there so that I can get these to a similar shape without breaking that tip off. Obviously I shall refine the shape when I've got the rest of the acrylic on but there's no point applying acrylic to something that's going to be coming off. Fairly small bead. So 
Oh. I remember this sandwich before, Mama. Oh, what are you going to open? Chips. Oh, I'm right. Ham sandwich and chips, is it? Yeah. Right, I'm going to do all the glitters first. Who's all you in? lunch and then I've had to come back and start again so um, I forgot to click record however uh, I've kept all these in clear uh, and I saved one just in time we're going to do this but I'm using my left hand and I'm right handed so 
Um, yeah, we didn't go uh, get on too bad with these, but I'm not sure I like them, to be honest. Uh, on me, well, I like them, but not on me. Um, so I'm going to have a go at capping with this hand. So... I'm doing it a bit runny because I'm a bit slow with it. Although precision wise, I don't think I'm too bad um, to say it's my wrong hand. Um, but then we haven't got to it critically, have we? <laughs> I don't want this to run all over, but so I can keep my thumb down. Let's see. That just makes it an awkward position. Get this over here. I hope you can see that, but I can't look in the camera at the same time. I'm going to have a right lump. Now, take that back about precision. I'm going to have a right lump to file off. What do you think? Something like that. Yeah. I just love to get my cuticle bit out again. But it's all, it's all covered. Look at that. I would sooner put it on in lots of layers. We'll see. Um, I could end up filing off a glitter away by the time I've done. But we can always amend it, can't we? Uh, these are the these are the shapes we've got so far. Uh, that one's flatter there. That one's quite nice, I suppose. That one's flatter there. That one's up. That one's up, so that one's a bit flat there. That's right, I'm putting this bit of orange uh, clear on this orange one. Can you see that ridge I've got there? That's what we're having. All right, filing. Finally, I'm getting on fast. Finally, be riding on my way. Finally, woke up with some luck in the back. I don't give a what someone, someone say. Finally, got my friends in the back on my roller. We gon' make it big one day. We gon' make it big, I say. We gon' make it be just stay in the stay in the moment Stay in the moment with me Give you a moment to give you a moment with me Spend all the roses Spend all the roses with me Just give you a moment to stay in the moment with me You woke up from a while Haven't seen you smile since December Ripped your heart, got a brand new one since you got lost in November See it in your eyes when we leave for the night Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the flame burn out for a while Stay in the moment Stay in the moment with me Give you a moment to Give you a moment with me Spend all the roses Spend all the roses with me
over or uh, put music on. I do like to chat to you while I'm doing it but uh, I'm at home so there's other things going off and uh, we can't always be talking straight to camera. So I'll just top coat them. I'm at this point to deciding whether to put anything on, on them but seeing as I've been at it for well on and off uh, what feels like all day um, I'll probably leave it as it is. I keep wanting to put a flower on and I never get round to it. Um, this one's been found a little bit thin on the purple. Can you see on the ends there? Uh, I should have underfiled rather than kind of found it on top, I suppose. Um, I've just wondered whether I've not plugged my lamp in or not. Uh, not quite sure on the yellow, but I do love the purple, pink and orange. In fact, the green's all right in isolation, but uh, this glitter's beautiful though. And I'm a bit thin on the end of that one as well. But I'm only at home. I'm not going anywhere and it's all been good practice. So once I'd finished with the um, e-file, as you'll have seen, I went back in and did the uh, 240 file on the uh, buffer. And then, look at that. Looks tasty, that, doesn't it? I must admit, they're nice to apply. Uh, I've got to get into the um, different beads with different monomers and things, but overall, for a total um, sort of rebalance, reshape and reapplication, uh, they've not gone bad. Let's see what yellow's like. Oh, it's not too bad with the gloss over the top, but... This one I did with yellow all over, it was the first nail I did and I, I should have taken it off and changed my mind really because I decided it was too yellow. So the others I just put the glitter straight on. Um, but that's that. So. What do you think of these colours? Short nails for a change. Might get some work done now, eh? <laughs> Thank you all for watching, everybody. I love you loads and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Mm.